2020. Win together. Oh yes, we're getting closer to the business end of this wonderful tournament. It's the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League. And we will continue with doubleheader matches today. The first one, Candy Tuskers up against the Jaffna Stallions. It's a beautiful day here at the MRI Cricket Stadium in Hambantota. Earlier the toss was taken. Jaffna Stallions winning and electing to bat first. Teams for today, Jaffna on change. They had that uh, interrupted match with Dambula Viking. Might be expecting more runs from Banuka and Malik. Who hasn't really fired yet, but the Tuskers. They have included two newcomers, Sikuge Prasanna, the all-rounder and leg spinner, and Dale Stain, South African international, will add a new flavor to this franchise. Jaffna Stallions, uh, their openers. Fernando, he's been in fine form, 209 runs in the tournament so far, and they will expect more from him. And very different to his opening partner. Johnson Charles from the West Indies and Lucia, to be exact. They're on the way in this match, uh, 16. Nick and gone. That's what they expected from the big man, and he's delivered already. That's what you get when you have a seasoned campaigner. A good thing about Dale Stain, whenever he looks to ball with a new ball, pitches the ball up, allows the ball to do something. A bit of deviation of the surface. And he has prevailed straight away in his first over in this My 11 circle, Lanka Premier League. Not for one, the Daphne Stallions. Asalanka, the new batsman. Clipped away. This is a good shot. Says a lot about his confidence and it goes all the way. Beautiful from the young man. Caress this one through the cover region. Cream through the offside. Two full from Stain. And finally, Johnson Charles gets going. Hammered. Johnson Charles has his own style, but very, very effective. Driven. Gap found once again. An expensive over comes to an Dale Stain wouldn't be happy. Three overs gone, 26 for one. There he goes. Sweetly struck. Another six. Wow, this young man is exciting. Low the peel and the dreaded finger goes up. Gets back. Hits the line, hits the length. Asalanka caught on the crease. Cross seam delivery. Hitting him on the back leg. Easy decision for the umpires. Asalanka is not a tall guy either. Walking back after scoring 18. It's 32 for two. Pakistan international Shoaib Malik. New batsman. Oh dear. Neil Steen just uh, letting this one go. Wow, a mile 11 circle champion shot from a champion. Goes down ground, goes down ground, doesn't get the timing. Dale Stain in the thick of things again. Was in the air for a long time, never easy for a fieldman to run back. He did kept his eyes on the ball and held it beautifully big wicket to have Charles for 17 Jaffna Stallions 42 for 3 
That is a beautiful shot. That really is. Straight down the ground for four. And it's classic. It was fired a little bit quicker and short. Opening up, and it's just over the top. 24th, 25th ball, rather, goes for four. Down the ground, solid. That brings up the 50 stand as well. It's one bounce, and it scoots away for a boundary. 11 runs off that over, 95 for three. Yeah, that's a wicket, that's a wicket. We're itching to go. They wanted to go. There was a chap before that ball, actually. Shahab Malik came down and said, I think this is time. We've got to start getting boundaries now. I've got to get big boundaries. We're running out of time. And this was a full toss, an opportunity. Mendes did all the hard work down there in the shadows. Bonica goes for 21, 101 for four now. Well, you've taken another wicket for this. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. This is a Pereira. Just chips that on to the onside, and what a massive over. The Candy Tuskers have picked up a couple. Good catch from Dilruan Pereira at short mid wicket, and that's the wicket they wanted. This is a Pereira for one. The Jaffna Stallions in trouble, 103 for five. Edge, gone, they get the wicket. They get the wicket they needed. Short outside off stump, it was there to be hit. But all Hasaranga does it, make it through. That's what you call responding to captain's call. He was brought in to pick up a wicket for his side and he has obliged everybody. Call behind. Good catch too. Really well taken and... Uh... He might have caught another one right here as well. I think he has. 106 for six. This should be his 50. Shoaib Malik uh, has responded to his string of low scores with a fine innings. Still unbeaten. 64 to 50. Some miscommunication here. Will this be out? Well, this is very close, I think, Darren Ganga. Let's have a look. Has he got the ball? Yeah, he's got the ball out. Very well picked up there by Sikigay Prasanna. That is a big wicket because Saranga Lakmal can bat and he would have provided the perfect foil for Shaib Malik at the back end. Serenga Lakmal out for five of three balls, 118 for seven. Shinwari, new batsman. Next edge, runs away for four. Enough bat on this. Wouldn't be happy with the direction of that delivery, Nyon Pradeep concedes a boundary. Full toss might be taken, fielder runs around. Brilliance being shown here, Gurbaz completing the catch. Come the last two or three overs, he's well set. And he'll be kicking himself, he'll really be kicking himself. That was a full toss. Would have, he would have expected to put it over the line with ease, and he's happy. <laughs> they are all fishing. <laughs> Out for 59. It's 132 for eight. Goes for the big one. And will get a boundary. Pulled away, pulled away. Goes straight to the field, and Yuan Pradeep making no mistake. And well, Japan Stallions are now in dire straits. 
this is uh, Nuan Pradeep, got underneath it. Shinwari looking to swing his bat around. 11 of 10, 137 for 9. Sipped away. Will find the boundary. Gets it right. He makes up for the mistakes earlier, but still disappointed. The shake of the head says it all. But what he's done, he's closed the innings off. 150 is what the Jaffna Stallions will produce today. Perfect Yorker. Can the Tuskers with a fine effort with the ball? What they've done is uh, they've bowled out Jaffna Stallions for 150. There was uh, some quality in that batting lineup. Shoaib Malik finally coming to the fore, top scoring for his team. He produced 59 from 44, played some lovely shots down the ground. And a wonderful partnership with Banuka, who produced 21 from 22. But they kept losing wickets at regular intervals. Bailstein was good at the top. He provided the breakthrough and good support by Vishwa Fernando and Pradeep. And Asela Gunaratna was very good indeed. Under six runs and over, he chipped in as well. So it was a good all-round effort. And Dale Stain really proving that cutting edge the Candy Tuskers didn't have before. They will require 151 if they are to go on to win this one against uh, the Jaffna Stallions. Right, so here we go. Here come the two early batsmen, a couple of guys who uh, have scored runs so far in this tournament, a couple of guys who are very talented cricketers. Well, the problem for the Candy Tuskers is they have been a little bit inconsistent with their batting. It's clubbed that away in front of square and that's gone for four. That's a bit of a top edge, but I think it's going to be safe and it's going to go one bounce for four. It's a perfect line first up and that is an extraordinary shot. That really is a wonderful stroke. Whip that away, back with a square, quickly for four. Straight up, this should be out. It is taken. Sean Malik has taken that catch. He'll be disappointed with that. He played so well the first game, but we haven't seen the best of him since then. He's a one-dimensional player. No game awareness. He should have realized that what opposition needs at this juncture of the game. They need wickets. And he has provided them with an opportunity. He's walking back after scoring eight. It's 19 for one. Kusha Mendes is there. Straight and straight to the man. Asaranga takes that catch. That's a bit of a warm-up delivery from... Duan Olafir and he's picked up a big wicket. Mantis couldn't believe that hit the ball straight to the fielder. It was ill-directed delivery. He could have hit it anywhere. Opted to go towards Quayleg. He found the fielder. He's been holed out. Only managed two runs, 31 for two. He's got that away. That's just beautiful timing, it really is. And great placement too. That's uh, a fine shot. Ah, got him, got him, he's bowled him. That's why Johnson Charles, well, he thinks he's taken the uh, bails off. Well, it's a stumping chance. I thought it had nicked this. His thumb's on its way through. He's dragged his foot. Ooh, that looks like it's in the air. I reckon that's out, boys. Johnson Charles has done a wonderful piece of stumping there. That's a big one. Yes, the foot is in the air. Massive blow, massive blow because he plays spin so well. And it's that same time in the game that the spinners come into it. It's one in the Hasaranga sends Brendan Taylor back for 11. Sweet timing. He 
He wants to, he wants it, he'll get it. Oh, direct hit, but it's gone, it's gone, it's hurting them. A long hop, hit well, much awaited boundary. Nicely worked away on the offside. Out. I think this is out. What a big wicket. You cannot keep this man out of the game. Captain called in and he responded with a wicket. And that was a big wicket of the captain Pereira, who was looking dangerous. 42 from 36. His innings comes to an end. It's 95 for four. This time it finds the edge. Azirfar Patan getting off the mark. In fact, he'll get a boundary. Oh, inside edge. That will run away to the boundary. Slice that away on the offside. That's back with a square. That's a wonderful stroke. That's gone for four. Beautifully played. Slick side. And it's over the top. And it's gone for four. It went very quickly indeed. Fingertips, maybe. Beautifully bowled. Perfect length. Right the stumps. Ricochet off. And it's gone for four. Low full toss. And he's got that away and he's got it away for four. That's a beautiful shot. That is superbly played. He's clubbed that and he's headed for six. They've got up and won. So the Tuskers have won there. Safan and Gunnar Ratna have finished this game beautifully. Gunnar Ratna goes to 52. He really has played very nicely. But this is uh, an important two points for the Candy Tuskers that they get up by six wickets. The Jaffna Stallions are left with a bit of thinking to do. Okay, look back at the match summary. The Jaffna Stallions winning the toss. 150 they made. Now that's something that's going to uh, get them just to do a little bit of soul searching. And Malik was the top scorer with 59 off 44 deliveries. Pradeep picked up three for 36. That's nice to see. Gunnar Ratner, what a game he had, two for 21. And uh, Gunnar Ratner also 52 not out for the Candy Tuskers. Hasaranga two for 23, so tidy stuff. And Lakmar Olafia a wicket apiece. But in the end, that 150 the Stallions scored wasn't enough. And the Candy Tuskers won by six wickets.